So our next topic of discussion is not so much a battle, but it is just as important as a battle for a few reasons, which we're going to learn about today. Um, what we're going to be learning about is Washington's winter encampment, so encampment, so a camp, literally, at Valley Forge in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> we talked about um, a little while ago how armies back then did not fight during the winter. They usually took that time to rest and kind of do their best to get supplies, and it was just too cold and too hard to fight in the winter. So Washington had been driven back out of Philadelphia. The British right now are in the city of Philadelphia, occupying it, meaning they have taken it over. And they're kind of doing pretty good for the winter. They've got houses and stuff to be in, and they've got pretty good um, accommodations to be in for the winter. Um, Washington's army, on the other hand, literally has to make a camp in the winter. Um, tents, maybe some without. They have to try to build quick log cabins so that to protect them from the weather. And they're not very good ones because anything that you build super quick is not going to be great. And they tried to light fires in them and they had to make chimneys, but oftentimes they were smoky and the smoke went back into the cabins. Um, when they got to Valley Forge, they were short on supplies. There wasn't a lot of food. Um, many soldiers didn't even have shoes or the clothes or the uniforms they had were in rags at this point. And Washington's army was in a pretty desperate condition. People were dying from sickness. Some people were deserting or leaving. So not like eating dessert, but deserting is to leave the army when they weren't supposed to because they were signed up to fight for a certain amount of time. So it wasn't looking too good for Washington. Um, here's how a couple people described it. It says, we arrived at the Valley Forge in the evening. It was dark, there was no water to be found, and I was perishing with thirst. I searched for water till I was weary and came to my tent without finding any. Fatigue and thirst joined with hunger almost made me desperate. I felt at that instant as if I would have taken victuals or drink from the best friend I had on earth by force. Um, and victuals, if you didn't figure out from the way that he was talking, would be another word for food. Okay, and here's another, um, something that another soldier wrote about Valley Forge. It says, we were absolutely, literally starved. I do solemnly declare that I did not put a morsel of vittles into my mouth for four days and as many nights, except a little black birch bark, which I gnawed off a stick of wood, if that can be called vittles. I saw several of the men roast their old shoes and eat them, and I was afterwards informed that some of the officers killed and ate favorite little dog that belonged to one of them. If this is not suffering, I request to be informed what can pass under that name. So it sounds pretty horrible. So what good could possibly come out of Valley Forge? Well, some people from Europe were attracted to the colonist cause of liberty and freedom. And they came over to help out. Two people who showed up that winter were the Marquis de Lafayette from France and um, Frederick von Steuben, also called a baron, okay, even though they're not sure if he really was a baron or not. Um, and he was sent with a recommendation from Benjamin Franklin. And at the winter camp at Valley Forge, um, Baron von Steuben became really important because what he did is he began to train the Continental Army to be a professional army because they were just a bunch of volunteers and they didn't have a lot of really good training before they had to start fighting. And they were fighting the best supplied, best trained army in the world, the British Army. And so um, Baron von Steuben came in and he taught them how to march, how to drill, how to use bayonets on their guns. He taught them discipline. He even wrote a book, a manual, about how to train soldiers that was used for a very long time in the United States Army. And so even though they were suffering, they um, were able to gain a lot of um, enthusiasm through their training, um, preparing them to be ready to fight again in the spring. And when the time came to fight again in the spring, they were confident and they were ready to go.